Hi, I'm going to discuss with you about uh, arrays in Java using Eclipse. Let's get started. So let's go to file, uh, file Java project. Let's call it array project. So right click over there, create a class a class all right so there are two ways to do that uh, to create an array first of all we need to decide what kind of array we are going to have like integer array so uh, it's very simple like for example if we have just one variable let's say age and uh, we can only assign one value to it right I can't assign multiple values like 10, 20, no, it's error. But we can do so in a array form, okay? So in this case, we will have to uh, put the integer and before this variable, we just need to put square bracket. In arrays, you will always be using this square bracket, square bracket, all right? So let me start from scratch, age, uh with this square bracket over there and this is one way uh 10 uh, 20 30 so separated by a comma 10 comma 20 comma 30 and at the end semicolon as usual now this age variable it has these three values i want to display for example these values one by one so system dot out dot print ln and just like normal way, if I put, by the way, age and just uh, print it, and then I will see this gibberish. This is coming from the RAM because uh, uh, in the RAM, there is address where this thing is stored. So that address is coming over here, but I'm not interested in this one. I want to display 10. So how to do it? Same thing, array name, and then square bracket. As I mentioned, you will always be using square bracket. So age zero and it's going to display 10. If I want to display 20, so this one is at zero index or zero location. This is on location one, location two. So if I say one, it should show 20. Here it is. If I say two, it is going to display 30. All right. So if I want to display all of these, so order doesn't matter. I can show uh, 30 then 10, then later on 20, or it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, I made a mistake here. This is system. All right, so 30, 10, 20. Uh, can I do that using for loop? Sure, I can do that very easily. For loop, integer i, I start from zero because this first value is always on zero location in any programming language. So I is zero, I is less than equal to two because this is zero location, one location, location two, two. we can go until three, okay? Uh, from zero to two actually, total three. Okay, so in this case, now I don't need to specify two, I just put i. So first of all, i is zero, 10 will be displayed, then i is plus plus, then 20 will be displayed and so on. <clears throat> all right, so 10, 20, 30 is displayed. Here, if I want to put three, and I notice I want to st start from zero, if I put three, so this is out of bound error, okay. Uh, in this case, it's fine. Uh, I mean, if I put this is zero, uh, equal to three. So this is uh, array index out of bound error because we say equal to three. We don't have any uh, any value that is on location number three. We have this, this one on zero, one, two. We don't have a location number three, but if I put 40, then error will go away because now it's zero, one, two, three. And then in this case, we say equal to three or until three, then it's good. 
all right so 10 20 30 40 uh, so this is one way uh, of uh, array declaration and another way is this way uh, same way basically we start age but this time i'm not going to assign hard-coded values in the beginning i just want to say size and here i say i want to store three values okay so integer age and new keyword again integer so here integer and the square bracket integer and square bracket but this time we went need to mention what is the size of array how many values i want to store i said i want to store three values okay good what is the first value let's say again i want to save 10. Uh, so in this case i will use like this it's zero location because we always start from zero so age zero location what i want to st store 10. age it's one location i want to store 20 age two location i want to store 30. that's it we have total size is three and i have stored three look three things three values and the uh, in this case i just need to change this one right so zero one two and we can see that zero one two so it's until two all right 10 20 30 so this is another way okay 